One of the most irritating things about the financial dung heap we call home is not having any idea how it all went wrong. This is the story of a mild-mannered Chinese mathematician who wrote a bunch of Greek symbols that made the whole world go mad. So my job, house and pension are fucked. Yeah, but you know why. Hi, I can tell you why. It's because of the nerd who broke the world. Once upon a time in rural China was born a boy named Li Xiang Lin. His genius for maths took him to North America, where he changed his name to David X. Li, went to college and proceeded to wreak absolute mayhem. Nah, -uh, we're not talking panty raids. This nerd wrote this equation. Looks pretty harmless, doesn't it? But it wasn't. David X. Lee's equation could do a lot of things, including unleashing upon the world this kind of harebrained trading. Imagine I'm in a bar. I want to play a bit of pool, but I'm a bit short of cash. So I borrow 100 pounds off Steve here. And I say, don't worry, I'll pay you back out my winnings. And to make it worth your while, I'll get you a few beers. Steve's happy. He's getting free beers, but then I start losing. Bridget reckons I'm just hustling and offers Steve a deal. She buys the risk of losing £100 off him for a packet of Bombay mix. So Bridget's like, sweet, free Bombay mix. And Steve's like, sweet, free beer. And if Bridget can't pay me back, Alan will. And I'm like, wait, are my spots or stripes? By now, Steve's thinking, what if neither of them can pay me back? But no problem. Bridget sold on the risk again for a packet of Nobby's nuts. And so on, and so on. Ladies and gentlemen, the credit default swap. David X. Lee's equation meant you don't have to worry about the risk, and the swaps market exploded like New Year's Eve in the grenade factory. Everyone was using it to trade risks in everything. One year later, the swaps market was worth 920 billion pounds. By 2007, it was worth 62 trillion. Free money! And everyone was getting so rich so quick that nobody stopped to ask, Hey guys, what if nobody can pay this back? By then, the risks being traded included a big bag of dodgy subprime mortgages. So, Alan, should we buy this big bag of mortgages? No. Hmm, I'm going to. David Exley's equation made the risk of total collapse seem a lot smaller than it really was. The equation had a fundamental flaw when applied to the mortgages of the late noughties. The copula part bases the risk of collapsing whatever you're swapping on how safe it's been in the past. Fine for some things, but not for dodgy mortgages. They were new and they hadn't had a chance to go wrong yet. And so the equation told everyone they never, ever would. And David X. Lee had created Time Bomb. In 2005, a by now nervous David X. Lee told the Wall Street Journal that his equation was being misused, but it was already too late. The mortgages started defaulting, making this worthless times a few trillion, so now you're paying it back. So what did David X. Lee do? And what would you do? He disappeared back to China, he's not returning anyone's calls, and thanks to his copular equation, we're all fucked. Or you could say, we're all copulated.